Thank you, Commissioner. I appreciate those remarks very much. My congratulations, too, to Cy Burek and to Jack Brickhouse. And my congratulations to Walter Alston and best wishes to Walter for a speedy recovery. I know he's watching today, and I just want to say to Walter, we miss you, and we miss you very much on this day. My congratulations to Juan Marichal on this great day for him. And to Brooks Robinson, my congratulations. Brooks, my cohort on the baseball field today in the broadcast booth, friend of many, many years. I still find it, Brooks, almost unbelievable that we have traveled the same path for so long with the same goals in mind, and we wind up here in Cooperstown in the Hall of Fame on the same day. Brooks, I know this too, that hundreds of your friends, hundreds, maybe thousands of your friends are here from Baltimore today. Wait just a minute. I'm not gonna let him get away with that. Let me share, Brooks, let me share these friends with you for a moment because these people, I closed out my career in Baltimore, an old aging ball player, and they were good to me. They were so good. And I share them with you here today. When I was notified of my selection to the Hall of Fame, I received the most beautiful note you've ever seen from Hall of Famer Jocko Conlon. And this is what he said. He said, you never choked up on a baseball field in your life. But I guarantee you'll choke up at the induction ceremonies when you get to Cooperstown. Well, it could be. I hope not. But Jocko, I agree with you. It's a very emotional moment for an old baseball player. I stand here today in awe of this great event. I stand here today in awe of the great players that are behind me, the players that I'm joining, as Jack Brickhouse said, in these hallowed halls. You cannot possibly know the feeling that is inside me unless you've stood at this podium in this same situation. I have suspected for a long time that George Kell has taken more from this great game than he would ever be able to put back. And now today I know that I am more deeply in debt than ever before. This is a very special moment a very special moment for me and for my family, and we want to share it with everyone, especially all of our friends who have kept the faith for lo these many years, that one day this great honor would come our way. I share this personally with my wife, Charlene, my wife of 42 years, who's right out in front. Charlene started with me at a very young age, as you might imagine, not knowing exactly what she was getting into, but not caring, really, if this was what I wanted to do. I share this with my children, George Jr., who's out here, and Terry, out in front today, and my grandchildren, who are seated there with them. My children were not old enough to remember too much about their father playing ball but they were old enough to know that their daddy was gone from home an awfully lot in those days. And I'm sorry for that, but I hope that in some small way that this day will make up for all of that. I share this with my father, 83 years young, who's in a nursing home in Newport, Arkansas today unable to be here, but watching this on television. My father raised three boys, convinced that they would all be Major League ball players, if not Hall of Famers. Two of us did reach the Major Leagues. My brother Skeeter played for the Philadelphia A's and myself. 
My other brother died in World War II, or who knows, my father might have been right. He might have had three Major League Baseball players. Baseball, <laughs> baseball has provided me with so much, not just financial, but the people I've met and the friends I've made. Time does not permit me to mention all of those who have influenced my life, but let me tell you this. I played for Mr. Connie Mack, and I got to know this grand old man rather well. I played for, and I got to know Mr. Tom Yawkey, who left a lasting impression on this game. And I've spent the past 24 years broadcasting and working for Mr. John Fetzer, a real giant in the game today. There is no more respected man in baseball than Mr. Fetzer. I'm lucky to have played for and to have known these men. Milton Richmond, my good friend from the UPI, told me that being selected to the Hall of Fame would change my whole life, and it has to a certain extent. But I would hope that I still know where the real values in life are, in home, and family, in church, and in friends. When I was leaving my hometown of Swifton, Arkansas this week, or Cooperstown, a 12-year-old lad by the name, a neighbor of mine by the name of Ricky Roberts came up to me as I was packing my car. And he said, Mr. Kell, we're proud of you, and we're all gonna be watching you on television on Sunday. Now, I mention this because this touched me very much. I'm proud, too. I'm proud that I know people like Ricky Roberts, and I'm proud that I know and have many, many other friends. So from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you to all of you.